Hey, have you ever wanted to make homemade bread, but you didn't want to go through the hassle of all the kneading and waiting? And I have a solution for you today. Stay tuned. The solution is a bread maker. So let's take a look at all of the settings. This one has um, quite a few, more than the average. Um, and you can see the menus, um, you can see how to adjust the weight. So we'll go through all those in a second. But first we wanna give everything a good uh, rinse. All right, so now that everything is washed and dried, let's make our first loaf. So we're going with a medium color. This is to adjust the weight of the loaf. So you can see one pound, one and a half, and two pounds. And now this button corresponds with all of the options that you see listed through 19. So you can see four French, five whole wheat, and then it just goes on through up until um, the 19th um, setting. And you'll see with each setting, the time changes. So that's the duration that whatever that item is should take. So here's the manual and everything that should be in your box. Um, and then it gives you, you know, different instructions. Um, so you can flip through that. And here they're specifically giving you visuals on the order of ingredients. So they call out what you should be putting in first, second, and third. And in this manual, they've also included the recipes here and they do ask that you stick with their recipes initially until you get very comfortable with the machine. And then this whole back part is just like troubleshooting. If you run into any issues, how you should resolve it. So that covers the whole booklet. So let's jump into our first recipe. So I'll be making number two, the quick bread, and I'll do one and a half pounds. As you can see, um, all the weights or the measurements that go with those ingredients.
All right, done cutting, not too shabby for my first time. I do have to do some touch-ups real quick and go all the way through on some, but what do you think? All right, let's get a close look at this texture and um, see what we think. I mean, it's passing the field test to me. It's pretty, pretty good bread right here. I'm gonna just make a small little cut. I'd say this is quality bread right here. And we know the ingredients. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of my homemade peanut butter on this slice of bread. You can see here, I'll put the link for that recipe. But I'm saying, I think this is a good, good piece of bread here. And um, give it a taste. All right, so we're gonna store the bread in an airtight container. You can store it um, out of the fridge or inside the fridge. So I usually do mine outside of the fridge at first, and then after a few days, I put it inside the fridge. And you can also freeze the slices as well. Now this is the best part about the cutter. You can see all those crumbs that are not on your countertop and they're in that crumb tray. And then another feature is the magnets that hold the knife. So it keeps everything together and then it also has that bag like you saw, but this is just so convenient. So I'm just putting that guard back on the tip of the bread knife. Here are the instructions, um, which I did glance at before I started cutting. Okay, so what'd you think about the bread? Let me know down in the comments. I thought the bread maker was pretty good. And then I also did like this bread kit, um, cutting kit. So I thought this was really convenient and helped me have uniform slices. I used to freehand it, um, but this is definitely an upgrade. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, let me know what you thought down in the comments. Let me know if you'll try any of these products. Um, but if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also click the bell notification and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.